Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to create an email uh, spam uh, detection using machine learning, right? We're going to create a model that can be able to tell us if an email will be spammed or will not be spammed, if it will be in the spam folder or not. So that's what we're going to create in this tutorial. We're going to, I have a data set of about emails, about 5,000, uh, 5,500 emails, and then the emails have been labeled either by being spammed or not spam. okay? So we're going to breed, create a model that will be able to classify if an email will be landing in the spam folder or not okay so let's go ahead and actually import our necessary library so i'm going to import our pandas uh pandas as a pd so we're going to import pandas as pd so i'm going to go a df and i'm going to read in our data frame so if you're not part out to work out with data uh, in pandas i have a tutorial on pandas on my tutorial on my um on my youtube channel you can go and check that out so uh df equals to pandas so to read uh csv so we're going to pass in here uh the a list uh sorry a string to a pass so i call data and then i call it spam dot uh, csv so you can run that so i can go df and then you can see uh pandas is not defined so okay so i made a mistake here so it is supposed to be pd not pandas uh, it's difficult talking while typing mm, does not exist so why data sets okay data this is data sets and then yeah so we have that there so i can run this and then we can see we have that uh there so you can see we have the message which has the email that the person sent and you can see whether they have been categorized as spam or not spam so this spam means it's a spam email and then the harm means it's not a spam email okay so now let's go ahead and actually uh, label and code this value so you're going to use a bit of uh natural language processing right so we're going to do natural language processing using um using logistical regression and you're going to uh, and uh, the count vectorizer from scikit-learn okay so that's what you're going to be doing so let's first go ahead and actually label and code this value so i'm just going to do uh do it manually so i'm just going to do i'm going to say df and then i'm going to get the category so this will be a string category category uh will be uh equals to df and then i'm going to get again the category uh, and then i'm going to replace so replace what it does you're going to replace uh certain values with other values again if you don't know how replace works you can check out my tutorial on pandas i have a whole series on pandas and then you can see how it works so we're going to replace spam with uh we're going to replace spam with one means that it's it is a uh, true that is a spam and you're going to replace um uh, with uh zero means that is not a spam okay so we've done that and then we can do a df and then we can see now our values have been uh, coded so you see this one it was uh, harm and now it's zero and this was spam uh this right here it's spam and then now it has been encoded with one okay so that's how we have uh, been able to label encode the, re the reason why we label encode is that machine learning models do not understand textual data like human language right so they understand numbers so we have to put this in form of numbers so they can be able to understand so this process is known as uh label encoding what you have this done of replacing this is known as label encoding there is a library in a uh, uh, class in uh, sklearn that you can use to do this uh, but just since they're just two i can do it manually so that's uh, how we do it manually okay again if you know how pandas work you can go and check out my tutorial on pandas so now i say that uh, as i say that machine uh, uh, machine learning models do not understand languages like this so you have to find a way to replace this to convert this text into a vector into numbers or an array of numbers so that's what we're going to do so to do this we're going to import let's do uh, from sklearn scale uh, sklearn dot uh, feature let's go feature sorry this is feature uh, underscore extraction dot text you're going to import uh count you're going to import something known as count vectorizer so count uh vectorizer just like this so we're going to import count vectorizer so what count vectorizer enables us to do is to be able to convert these words right these words right here okay let me just changes so yeah, it, it will enable us to convert this words right here into a vector okay so let me just show you how it what it means so we're going to first create an instance of this let's call it a uh, ve vector vectorizer uh, it will be equals to count vectorizer we're going to create a cl an instance of this so we have created an instance of this so now that you have created an instance of this we need to train it on something so Let's come up here and be able to split our data into training and testing sets and then we'll be able to do that so let me just uh, create a few cells up here you're going to create x right which will just be equals to uh, let's just do this so let me just say x underscore train 
underscore sentence uh, comma uh, x underscore train underscore test underscore sentence uh, comma y underscore train and y underscore test uh, equals to train test please so we need to import this library here called known as train test please. so i'm going to up come here and i'm going to import from um sk learn dot model underscore selection we're going to import a uh, train underscore test underscore split just like that so then you're going to uh, come in here and you're going to assign it to train underscore test underscore uh, split and in you're going to pass in uh, our data frame for the x this is the first argument to be the x so that x would be the messages right so we're going to pass in here uh me message so they called it message right yeah so that will be our x and then our y will be uh our y will be df and then this will just be category Cate uh, category right just like that and then you're going to specify here the train underscore size so we're going to specify we're going to use 80% for training and then I'm uh, going to use uh, let me just break this is going off the screen so we're going to use that for training and then um, you are going to use to, to set random state so I'm just move up here and then I'll go uh, random underscore state and then this should just be any uh, value let's go with three uh, 200 is fine let's just go with 200 okay so run, we run that so our now data now has been split uh, into a uh, training and test sample so you can go as uh, train sentence you can run that so we can have all the of sentence for the okay, to, that you're going to use it for our training right so now that we have that and you will specify the train uh the train size to be 80 percent you're going to use 80 percent for training so if i can do uh, this one dot uh, shape uh, this should be shape and then i can have the uh, that one there and then i can go x underscore test sentence dot uh, shape so this should be shape and then i can have uh, that there so we're going to use 4457 for training and then 1115 for testing so that's good so now uh, let's delete this all so now that you have done that just uh, we have split our, our test into uh, data into training and testing set so we're going to use the testing the testing uh, sentences to, to create our, our, our vectorizer. So we're going to do that, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, let me just cut this out. So now that I've created our vectorizer, we're going to uh, do, do a vectorizer uh, dot fit. We're going to fit it with the, the X string data. Let's run that. So we have already uh, created our vectorizer. So now let's go ahead and actually uh, use the, to change the X, tr X string and X test sentences into actually uh, a vector. So we're going to call a vectorizer. So I'm just going to call vectorizer and I'm going to say uh, transform. So this is going to transform our data. So transform and in here I'm going to simply going to pass in uh, so transform you're going to pass in uh, a, data, a data that you want to transform. So we're going to transform x train uh, underscore sentence. So and then let's also do this for the uh, uh, x test. Okay, so x test uh, x test. So let's call x test uh, just like this will be equals to vectorizer dot uh, transform and then you're going to pass in x underscore test sentence just like that so now we run that so our our, 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 our vectorizers uh, our sentence have been changed into vector so if i do this i'll let me just do dot to array and then i'm going to get the first one so you can see uh we have that uh, our words right which, which was our words which were, were these ones right uh these words up here let me just um, is here just run this again so this was have now been like this one here has been converted into this uh, specific array right so all the words that uh, have been here have been converted into arrays now this is done using a uh, uh, different methods i'm not going to go into that this tutorial is just uh, just to give a, a brief introduction to natural language processing using uh using psychic learn okay so now that you have done that let's go ahead and actually uh, actually begin to to train uh to create a model and then be able to train our model so in this tutorial you're just going to use a uh, logistical regression so sklearn if you're not a logistical regression model i have a tutorial on logistical uh, regression you can check it out so dot uh linear dot linear sklearn dot linear uh linear underscore model import uh logistic logistic uh logistic uh, logistic logistic regression so yeah that's we can run that so now we have our logistic regressions we can go log 
uh, reg right to just be the name of our model you can call it everything you want so we're going to go logistical logistic regression create an instance of there so let's go ahead and actually uh, train that model so dot fit and then you're going to pass in x underscore train and y underscore train so we can run that so uh, log reg is not defined okay it's log reg so so now our model has been trained so now that our model has been trained let's go ahead and, and actually um make predictions so you can go say predictions uh equals to uh log reg log reg dot predict so we're going to pass in how to want to predict so want to predict for x underscore test want to make prediction for x test right so now that you have the predictions let's go ahead and actually try to begin to uh, uh evaluate our model okay so now let's do uh, uh let's do predictions predictions and then you're going to simply get the first one so the first one is uh, actually uh, a zero which is not a spam so let's check it out from our x uh, test uh, underscore sentences you're going to get the first one so the first one just uh, go until Jurong. i don't know if it's pronounced like that point crazy available only in the buggies on great world blah, blah blah and something like that so you can see this doesn't look like a spam email to me so it's not a spam email so you can also try let's maybe let's go 10 and also let's change this one to be 10 and then let's run both of this so it's uh i got an error so why i get an error so um, let's see three i'm still getting the error uh why is that happening so three i don't know i'm still getting this error but uh why key error three why is that happening so well, let me just try to run all the cells again sometimes it happens i don't know why uh hopefully it works we still get the same error but if i try any one one used to be working i don't know wh why it's not working now so i really don't know why so let me just copy this and uh try maybe get the spelling right so let me just do uh 10 yeah okay i think i got I, I typed something wrong so yeah so you see 10 it is it is not a uh, spam it is not a spam so it's zero so i'm going to be home soon as you can see it's clearly not a spam right so yeah that's how you can be able to check uh to to, to 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 train our model so now what if you want to have you have uh, an email that you want to check yourself if it's either a spam or not so for example let's let's say yeah uh, the email should be the string should be inside of a list right so let's say maybe i'm writing an email to someone hello uh, dear maybe hope to see you soon just like this right so this is not going to be a spam right so now let's try to check if it's going to be a spam so we're going to do a um, phrase let's call it phrase effect uh, equals to uh, let's call it vectorizer so we're going to call it vectorizer and we're going to pass in phrase so yeah so we're going to pass in phrase and then vector uh, object uh, is not callable so vectorizer sorry this is actually fit bad so this is fit so this is transform rather so we're going to already fit is for training so i've already trained our vectorizer so it is transforming uh transforming this set to be uh of the using the whatever they known from our bag of words so phrase underscore vect and then we can run this so you can see we have an array so you can say to uh, array and then we can see our, our, our this sentence which you write here has been converted into an array right so now that we can we can we have that let's try to um, uh, make predictions so we can just go uh, log reg dot predict and then you're going to pass in our uh, vectorized phrase so vect phase and underscore vect so we run that so you can see it is not a spam email because it's clearly not a spam email, right so you can write many things maybe right in here just test it you can write you can think you can write a very malicious email uh, maybe that is promising people money and fake stuff like that and it should probably cl classify it as a spam email okay so we can try that ourselves maybe we can uh, try to write in here uh, get free internet data for let me i can really think of anything malicious for no cost maybe send in send us uh your credit card 
password maybe like that that looks weird so let's try uh no it is not considered a spam so it's really different sometimes it's not sometimes it is so now that we have done that and, and uh you can think of anything malicious and you can write it here i probably classify it as a spam okay so there are different criteria that we, uh, emails are classified as spam not just because they are promising this kind of stuff so the other details okay so you can just try different emails and you can see which one of them is a spam for you so now that we have done that let's go ahead and actually check the uh, performance of our model so just going from sklearn uh going to go sklearn sklearn right dot um yeah dot matrix uh, matrix import uh, we're going to import classification underscore report run that so we have the classification report so we're going to go print uh classification report and in here we're just going to pass in our our the truth value x test y test and then the predictions so we run that you can see we have an accuracy of about 80 uh, 98 percent so that's really really accurate in classifying our model so we can test just by the accuracy we also have the precision the recall and you can see all these values are good so our model is doing really well so now let's try to check the confusion underscore matrix so let's uh, create a confusion matrix so let's go cn equals to confusion matrix and then you're going to pass in here uh, our x y underscore test and then the predictions right so the truth values and the prediction we can uh, see that this is our confusion matrix so let's uh, try to plot it so we're going to import uh seaborn as sns so sns if you don't know seaborn i have a tutorial on seaborn my youtube channel you can go and check that out so we're going to do uh, sns.heatmap sns.heatmap so we can draw a confusion matrix so we're passing our confusion matrix and then i also pass in a not uh, equals to true so you can be able to see those values so you can see this is our confusion matrix so these are the false positives and the false negatives so our model actually is doing really really great you can see most of the values are on the uh, true positives and the sorry false positives and the uh, truth positives right so our model is actually doing really 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 great so about 98 percent accuracy everything is looking okay the precision the recall the f1 score are all in their 90s so this our model is really really doing great so this is just a bit introduction to natural language processing if you want to do more about natural language processing you can um you can look in libraries like NT, uh, NLT, uh, the Sparsi, the Keras, TensorFlow Keras, and stuff like that. So this is all I wanted us to discuss in this tutorial. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up. If you don't know what logistical regression is, I have a tutorial on my YouTube channel. You can check out logistical regression. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please kindly do for more videos like this. So thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial. Uh, keep safe.